<laughs> yeah, so that's what we're weighing everything so that like that, uh, trying to keep in a calorie deficit so that so you're able to track everything. So I'm losing weight at the moment for a competition in July. Like that as well, you still want to be even right that you're still able to feel your sessions and stuff like that. So it's kind of always be on top of things, but then you have to live a little as well, you know what I mean? Um, and have them little things because food is just so social, you know what I mean? Like going out with people and stuff like that, it is, it's such a social thing. So it's kind of just finding that balance, you know what I mean? Doing a bit of both. So we wake up at eight, then we have our breaths and stuff, and then training would be around half 10. So we do our activation 15 minutes before. So it's like a few stretches and stuff like that, that you're ready to start training. And then today, uh, what we're doing is the bags. So I'm not too sure what the bag session is yet, but sometimes it's technical or conditioning. So it kind of varies, um, depending on like where you are. So we have a break in between and training doesn't start until four, but between that maybe might do a bit of reading or like Netflix something like that or even a little nap <laughs> and then uh, like then this evening then we're doing strength and conditioning like run recovery is so important so it's being smart with the time that you have in between the sessions and kind of just making sure every every aspect of the day counts and leads up to what you're doing so doing everything with a purpose Preparation attack will be can be punished. That's why everything you plan, good footwork, good preparatory, good teasing, very good movement. You move without reason. Remember, I told you, go left, go right. Okay? Always make them thinking. Make them forget their plans. That is our plan. <laughs> them things and like that then when you fall you fall together you know what I mean it's kind of they drive you on and it's just really to have a good relationship with them which we do like the high performance coaches are brilliant and they really do try their best and like I was saying my dad's my coach and he can't, can't really get closer than that you know what I mean and but that uh, um just it's really important to have that kind of understanding of each other as well from coming in here three years ago like there's so much I've changed and so much I've adapted and 
which was brilliant and I'm, I'm not there yet and I know that you know what I mean I still have things and there's always gonna be things no matter what if you're world champion or whatever there's always things to improve on you need to be in that area you know what I mean there's no point of doing the things that you like all the time because they're already good or you already know them it's, it's getting out of that comfort zone and technical for me is definitely out of my comfort zone <laughs> but it's remembering to enjoy the dream that I am in here and I'm among the greatest and I'm with the best and I'm training with them and it's just enjoying the whole process instead of being so hard on yourself the whole time and okay it's important to be hard yourself because again you want to push that extra boundaries but just having that little bit of self-love <laughs> and yeah really minding yourself through the whole journey because it's not easy <laughs> And I think just as like a male dominated sport, you know what I mean? That women are only new to the sport. I think there's been so much change and it's like quickly ramping up um, with female boxers and like that they see in the likes. I remember when uh, Katie won her gold, like uh, my boxing club at the time, um, Bracken Boxing Club. It didn't have a female changing room or nothing, and we were in this tiny little toilet. And like that, then when she won, I swear there was about 15 of us in that little toilet. And like that, like we were like a clown car coming out. That it was great. That once you see a woman kind of doing it, all the other and um, like that, it all follows. Then the females get into the boxing. So it's been great looking at how well the females have been doing in their boxing. And like that, like I'd like to also bring medals to the sport and all, but also inspire the younger ones that like that. I enjoy teaching the younger classes and like that, just showing them as well that like that a girl in their local community is doing it too. Tonight I'm doing adult fitness classes, so I get to do men and women's fitness classes. So like that, it's an error of boxing, but um, I get so much enjoyment out of it. And I don't think the lads or the ladies realize how much they give to me. Like boxing is always serious and everything. It's nice to kind of take that time to take a step back and actually give back to others with, with the boxing, but also to enjoy it and see them benefit from it. Like they really enjoy the class as well. I think they do, <laughs> but I enjoy doing the classes with them and like that they give as much to me as I give to them, if not more, they give to, I, they give to me you know it really does make a difference coming out and just getting to enjoy my boxing and getting to do his stuff with the lads it really is enjoyable so that's what we're doing this evening okay. so what he's going to go block slip block block lean back block block lean back and boxer two is going jab backhand hook hook uppercut hook That's it, man. Back home to rest. <laughs>